Saints, welcome on board the Norwegian Joy. We are here for a 12 night sailing. So if you're interested in seeing more information about that, be sure to check out our full Norwegian Joy playlist. But for today's video, I actually wanna take you across and give you a tour of Norwegian Cruise Line's private island, Great Stirrup Key. And I'll apologize in advance if at any point during the video I say K, I'm used to the name of the island next door. More on that later. But for now, I'm gonna grab a tinder boat and head over. Let's go ahead and get it started. Our tour of Norwegian Cruise Line's Great Sturb Key begins right now. All right, here's where we will begin our tour. We see the welcome banners. We see the welcome sign in the back. They even got the blue crab mascot there taking some pictures. This is the landing area for the tinder boats because this island, as of right now, does not have a pier. Hopefully they will build one someday. But as for right now, you do have to take the tinder boats over from the cruise ship and then once you land, you can continue on to the rest of the island. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through here and see the rest. See all the flags and the banners hung up. And then the big sign right there, Great Stirrup K. Of course, we have Little Stirrup K next door, which is better known as Perfect Day at Coco K, Royal Caribbean's private island. We'll see that in just a little bit. But this is the landing area. They do have photo opportunities. And as we come out of the landing plaza, we'll see a couple of different things. They are selling some different drinks like water here. And there's also different excursion meetup points and signups like Wave Runners, Swim with the Pigs, Kayak Meetup right over there. And then we also have the Cabana Villa and Spa rentals booth right here on this side. And this sign here says Buried Treasures Bazaar, which if I'm not mistaken is like a local straw market area over this way. Let's go take a look. And I want to point out as we make our way around the island, if you see these little tea, teal like sea foam buildings, those are the restrooms. And we have now arrived to the Buried Treasures Bazaar area where you can shop. Like I mentioned, that's kind of like a local straw market. You will want to bring some cash for this area. If you're purchasing something through Norwegian on the island, you can just use your key card, but you want to have cash here for the straw market. Also, drink packages do work here on the island, just like they do on the ship, and the food is included. However, I don't believe there's any Wi-Fi or internet available on the island. I also want to point out that right over here, they do have a shuttle pickup. You see the signs there, you see the little trams. This will take you over to Silver Cove, the private retreat area. This is a paid expense uh, excursion that kind of takes you over to a luxury area that has different villas and things like that. So they do have a tram here that will take you around, but we'll see the entrance point to that in just a little bit. Back over in the main thoroughfare area right now, and I did notice over there that they do have some beach wheelchairs. Those are free to use, free to rent for the day, but they are first come, first serve. All right, we're at the end of the main sidewalk path as we come out and we see a first aid station here. So if you do have an injury, this is where you'll want to go. And that very loud music is coming from this area, the entertainment zone bandstand. So they do have some musical instruments there for live performances or DJ through the very, very loud speakers. So there's the main path that we came down from the tender boat. So now we're going to turn and go this way over towards the beach area. So just behind this restroom building, we'll find some picnic tables and we'll actually see these all throughout the island. I've seen several, several already, as well as lounge chairs and the typical things you'd find at a beach or a private island destination. Over here, they do have some ping pong tables set up and you can see the tender boats in the background over there for reference of where we're at. And this building here is Abaco Taco, a taco station, as the name would suggest, where you can get some great taco-like eats, again, included with your cruise fare. So they do have a little porch there that's covered with some seating, as well as some additional picnic tables over to the side. Just past the taco stand, you will find these lovely swings over here the great Stirp K name up above it. Cruise ship out in the distance. So this is of course a great opportunity for a photo or a video if you'd like. And there's also a little viewing deck right there. So you can kind of go up, get elevated over the rocks and really get a great picture. And just next to that, we'll begin our beach area. See the sign or the banner there it says umbrellas and clamshells. Plenty of umbrellas over on that side. Just some standard lounge chairs here on this side, out in the sun, and then straight out to the water. You do have some covered uh, tables and chairs here for eating. Got some bags game set up, and there is a bar right here serving up some tequila. It said it was margarita way, so that's probably their specialty here. And here's a great view of the beach area. Another set of swings with the name up above there, but these are in the water, kind of like sandals resort style. Great opportunity for a photo. And then you can see the big lagoon area out there. People are swimming, people floating kayaks. I see people snorkeling. Lots of fun to be had. So this is a big main beach area, cove area, 
you can see the uh, lighthouse there over to the side it's painted up really nice and then all those little towers like that and then over there and these lines you can probably see is actually for zip lining there goes someone right now doing the zip line across so that is one of the excursions available here at great stirrup k and if you're at this beach you can look over and see the aforementioned Perfect day at Coco Cay, Royal Caribbean's private island, right over there. See a couple of ships docked, the Thrill Water Slide Tower, Thrill uh, Daredevil's Peak, and then the Up, Up, and Away Helium Balloon. So obviously you're not here for that, but it is kind of a nice view, I'm not gonna lie. So pretty cool spot to come to the beach. And it just continues down here. You got lounge chairs all the way down, of course, some with umbrellas, some not. You have some big games like chess or things like that. I'm not gonna show the whole beach span because you get the idea, but it's just gonna continue around here. So I'm actually gonna go back into the kind of thoroughfare area and we'll see all these little different buildings and whatnot as we go all right so our tinder boats are over there we have abaco taco right there and then we turn around of course you can go back out to the beach over there where we just saw but i wanted to point out this building here is where you can rent or pick up your rentals for snorkel equipment life vest fins mask actual snorkel all right there in this building i will say i haven't seen any maps on the island yet which makes things a little tough but they are very good about putting these banners up that kind of let you know what the area is for so that's good and then they do have little vendors too like look this is a hot dog cart right there so those are just stationed throughout you saw the bottled water now we're seeing hot dogs just little things here and there and then past the snorkel building of course goes back out to that beach area with the uh, chairs umbrellas and apparently i guess these are called clamshells i always just kind of called them covered day beds but i guess that's the name clamshells and the next building in line is another bar area here as well as a cool photo op of the surfboard in addition to the beacon banners they also have these signs with the various arrows pointing in the different directions to let you know which way to go which is helpful and again another pop-up vendor just like a little pop-up bar right there they're big on those here here's an example of one of those free beach wheelchairs and we'll find our next building is the mat and float rentals pretty self-explanatory if you need to rent a mat or float this is where you're going to do it so just to kind of get reoriented here straight through there was where we started with the tinder boats then we went that way for the straw market then we went that way over to the beach and we're just kind of coming down this main area of the beach area i want to point out there is a paddleboard rental stand right there so if you're looking to do that that's where you want to go and just to kind of give reference there's our large kind of lighthouse structure zipline structure i call it a lighthouse because that's what it looks like but I think it's actually used for zip lining. So that's kind of right here in the middle of our path. Now I'm actually gonna veer over here to the left because we have something pretty big to see. The smoke is billowing out and it smells fantastic because this is Jumby Beach Grill. They are grilling up all the lunch foods back there. See the flames going? They got the grill going, it smells fantastic. So you can see it's just kind of a self-serve style, buffet kind of style area, go through, maybe cafeteria style is a better term. Go through, get your food. They have uh, some tables and chairs here with umbrellas. Drink station over there to the side. And I'm assuming hours of operation may vary by sailing, but for us today, 11.30 to two. And just to give you an idea of some of the food, I see burgers, I see dogs, I see salads, slaw, looks like they're slicing up some pizza. So some typical island fare, fresh fruit over there, things you might expect to see. And Jumbie Beach Grill is dual sided, so you can go in on the right or the left. And they do have designated entrance and exit points, which is great. A lot of times these island grill areas can get a little crazy, a little hectic, but it looks like it's gonna be organized even once they open up and it starts getting busy. And just off the grill, they do have this covered seating area with the picnic table as well as this small little building serving up some pastries on the side as well as a drink station on the opposite side. Across from Jumby Beach Grill back on the beach side here we'll have another bar area with some tables and chairs covered by umbrellas. This looks like the Bacardi area. That's the sign I keep seeing. Got the bar here in the center. Tables looking around right over the cove for the beach. So a really nice viewing spot here. And of course our beach space continues on down. They do have some volleyball nets here if you're looking to get your serve on. Got a game going on right now and then we're just continuing just same old same old lots of lounge chairs lots of beach space people in the water doing different activities i'm really digging this zipline tower that i've dubbed the lighthouse painted by guy harvey you can see the signature there at the bottom really nice look to it i will say and granted we do have good weather today it's not storming or anything but the waters look very calm here each beach section, each swimming section, it's kind of tucked up into these coves. They have the little jetty rocks that stick out, kind of break up the waves. So very smooth, very clear, would probably be very good for snorkeling. I do know that there is a sunken 
underwater snorkeling garden, I think actually back over on that side, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think I saw that on the map. So there's stuff to look at out there. They have statues under the water and things like that. Kind of kind of like Disney's Castaway Key, but just not Disney characters. <laughs> and there's someone disembarking the zip line. So again, the tower's going across. You see the different lines. Have a nice zip lining adventure. And this is a pretty expansive beach area. It just keeps going and going. Nothing really too different, just tons and tons and tons of chairs, some with umbrellas, most of them out in the sun, and then of course the coves in the water to go swim, float, snorkel, do whatever you're looking to do out there. So the beach just continues on down that way. You can get an idea of it there. What I'm actually gonna do is turn and go back around the little lighthouse tower there, and then we'll take this path on down. All right, coming around the lighthouse here on our main paved sidewalk area, and it looks like I have discovered a putting green I was not expecting that. Indeed though, there is a green. See the different flags marking the holes? They have the putters right over here that you can grab. That is pretty cool. There's a look at the clubs that you can just grab right there. Head up. That's pretty fun. So they have this side over here. They do have some benches up here as well. And then they have this side over here. And it appears that the base of the lighthouse tower is where people are going for the actual zip lining excursion. You can see the line uh, built up there. Got the check-in area. They're getting people signing their waivers and getting all suited up there. So that's where you want to come for that. It looks like they have a gift shop right off of that. Let's take a look inside. So in the gift shop, they do have some different hats, waterproof phone cases, some t-shirts, tanks. Looks like some swim shirts, athletic wear. Oh, nice zip line. That's cool. And just more of the same over here. It's nice and air conditioned in here too. So if you're looking for a place to cool off, this could be it. You can also get a great view of everyone getting suited up, geared up for their zip lining adventure right outside. As we make our way down the main path here, the next thing we'll find is cabanas on the K, so you can see, or on the key. Technically key, but Sometimes we say K. It depends on what it is. But you can see they have those cabanas up there with the ceiling fans. These are available to rent as an additional paid excursion type thing. I also think this is pretty cool. They have some signs here about the various wildlife you might see. So keeping in mind that sea turtles do nest here or that you need to be mindful of sea urchins. Always wear those water shoes. Peeling off the main path momentarily to show that there is the lighthouse beach bar right here so pretty self-explanatory but i do think it's cool because they have this little like tuk-tuk kind of mobile bar thing set up over here oh this is cool they have like frozen drinks tropical rita sunset slush looks like they have some kind of tap system here as well and maybe like they do some snow cones or something watermelon limeade captain's mai tai banana blitz at the tiki zoom bar and across from the Lighthouse Beach Bar and the Tiki Zoom Bar, you'll find Tropic Like It's Hot. It appears Tropic Like It's Hot is a little food truck here serving food that are found in the tropics. In the Bahamas and the Caribbean, different kind of things, ceviche, spiced chicken, even some desserts like Bahamian rum cake. And our next thing on down the line is Stir It Up Barbecue. You can see it's a little barbecue stand they got going here, a little self-serve food area. So you see they have the condiments there, utensils, plates, different things like that. You have some uh, fruit, little breads and pastries you can grab. Looks like some corn on the cob, smoked chicken, ribs, potato salad, hot dogs, burgers with the toppings. Very nice, it smells really good. And now back on our main path and we're gonna be split again. We're gonna have cabanas over on the left like we've seen, lounge chairs on the beach over on the right. As we each reach the end of the path here, the end of the First, the zip line run from the lighthouse tower. We see the entrance to the private retreat, Silver Cove. As I mentioned earlier, this is an additional paid experience, kind of luxury villas and things like that. It's own private beach area. I was hoping to show that to you. As you can see, it is gated off here. I do not have access to go in. So unfortunately, we will have to stop right here. The very nice gate attendant kindly said that I could come around here by the ropes to give you a better view as long as I don't climb up on the rock. So I will abide by that. Let's take a look. And we can see the Silver Cove Beach area there. A lot smaller than the other ones, but there's not as many people going to be using it. You do have the zip lines running right across it though, which is pretty cool. Give you some kinetic energy going on, dynamic viewing. Uh, very calm water once again though, very clear and a nice beach area again, 
not too many people, lots of chairs, umbrellas, things like that. And then you'll have the actual like villas and cabanas themselves kind of tucked up back in that area. So it's a pretty nice spot if you're looking to spend some extra money and get your own private space for the day. Well, there you have it, friends. That is our tour of Norwegian Cruise Line's Great Sturb Key, their private island. We hope you enjoyed it and found it informational and useful. If you're interested in coming to Great Sturb Key, sailing on board the Norwegian Joy, or any other cruise, we can help make that happen. As travel agents, it would be our pleasure. Our services are completely free to you. We never charge any fees or cost whatsoever, and it will not be a single cent more to book with us than it would be booking direct on your own. So feel free to reach out via that travel agent information you can find it in the description of this video. If you've recently booked your cruise and you're not paid in full, you may be able to transfer to our agency also free of charge, and then we can assist you the rest of the way. So we hope we'll hear from you soon either way. Once again, thank you for joining us for today's video, but we're signing off. We'll see you next time. Happy travels!